Well, hello, my YouTube family. Here we go again, people. It is another Funky Friday lip. Okay. Lip Fusion Disaster. Lip Fusion Micro Collagen Lip Plump. Okay, the one that I was wearing yesterday, that's a serious lip plump. This has buckus for a sting, so I don't know what is plumping. And buckus, what shade is this, people? Red. But what do you see? I don't know how much time you've got, but I am trying to make it. I'm trying to build up the color for you. I give up at this point. I think that's as dark as it's going to be. And I don't have a liner, and thank Jesus I don't. Because that's all you would see is the ring around my lip. So this is another Funky Friday. I've got a, a few other Funky Fridays to go through before, you know, I, I may not even... Hmm, I am this close to just tossing them in La Garbaggio right this very second. Lip Fusion. Micro Collagen Lip Plump. This is a piece of crap. The, sh the shade is called Sexy. What's sexy? What's sexy about this? Okay. So... Obviously, this is lips of the day. This is this is all I've got for you. This piece of crap. If you're looking for clear lip gloss, well, there you go. A whisper of a tint. Because I don't, I, you know. Moisturizing. I'll give it that much. Moisturizes the lips galore. That's all it's going to do for you. It's a glossy lip balm. That's really all it is. Another Funky Friday down the tubes. I will have other Funky Fridays coming at you. Trust and believe. Because I have to finish finish showing you the disasters that I bought. Why should I suffer alone, people? I got to take people with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so lips of the day, I guess. that That's it. That's all. That's all you got. Um, I wore, lightly, ever so lightly, no, not, not, uh, Fenty. I have not been giving this one any love at all. My Becca, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Blush Topper. Remember, remember how I was all over this. Thank you, Tina Marie. It was her fault that I got this, but I did get it. And then, I, and it, you know, you want something, you want something, you want something, and then you get it, and it's like, okay, I got it. Okay, just put it on the side now. How about you use it, Nancy? How about, you know, every once in a while, take it out the box, you know, attempt to look like you doing something on your cheeks, and there, there you go. There you go. So, yeah. You know, the one that looked like a flying saucer, but the rose gold flying saucer. It's Friday, people. It's Friday, and it's a three-day weekend for me. Okay? So, you know, I am in a happy, happy, happy mood. And today was under the radar again for me. All right? So, Paranoid is another one that has to work on Monday because she has not been with the company for six months. She's been with the company, wait for it, five months and three weeks. They won't give her the day. You got to, hey, you got to earn your due, honey. I earned my due. I earned my due. So, hella, hella yeah, I'm taking Monday off. And so there you go. That's it. That's all. 
Can we discuss scandal? Last night. I was sleeping through most of it. That's how boring it was to me. And um, Olivia's new attitude? No, boo-boo. Not flying with me. She thinks she's all that and a bag of chips. And the way she's treating people, sit. Don't go. Go. Stay. What are they, dogs? I mean, I'm all for the empowerment of women and all of that. But she, she has taken it to the nth degree. And when Papa Pope said that she's got a, a, a reckoning coming coming her way, I'm not going to feel sorry. If she keeps up like this the whole season, because this is the last season of Scandal, if she keeps up like this throughout the entire season, I'm not going to feel sorry for her. And then, so then what's the point? What is the point? She started out as a good guy. The show started out with her being a good person. And now she turned to this ugly, to me anyway, she turned to this ugly power absorbed power hungry person I, I don't understand yes you got melly to the white house okay we got the first female and and i understood the whole speech that she was talking to melly about and i'm sorry if i'm giving out spoilers for those of you who did not watch it yet but this is in my heart and soul Okay, I, I get the whole speech and, and, you know, you don't want to, to have them walk all over you and all of this and you want to be known and, and, you know, made history and all of that. Okay, fine. That's all great and good. But, you know, the way she walks down with her hair bouncing back and forth and up and down and all of that. Okay, that's the Olivia Pope walk. We get that. But she's got an attitude now and it's an ugly one. I do not like it. I did not like this first episode didn't like it in the least and can we discuss how to get away with murder how come nobody told me that how to get away with murder started last week because this is episode two i bumped into and i'm like what i thought they both started at the same time so i have to do an on demand for the first episode of how to get away with murder but how to get away with murder i stayed up for because we all know that Annalise is crazy to the cuckoo anyway. So, you know, she's crazy like a fox. That's how crazy she is. Like, she's crazy cuckoo. But at the same time, she knows how to be sharp and focused as an attorney when need be. So, yeah. So, these shows, I don't know. You know, I'm all for Annalise. Yes, okay, let's go with it. And now, you know... She's not working with the youngins anymore. They're going their all separate ways and all this, that, and the other. So I guess that makes for different storylines, what have you. But um, Shonda better get together with the scandal. I mean, I know she's, you know, she's going to go on Netflix. Now, but do we have to give up on the last season? Like, just throw it to the wind and who cares? Because now I'm a, I'm a Netflix chick. Come on, Shonda. You're a little bit more responsible than that. Let's just get it together. This first episode, straight out of the bat, straight out of the gate, was boring and ugly. I was so disappointed last night. You have no idea. I was so damn disappointed. All right. Okay. All right and okay. In Real Housewives of New Jersey, can we discuss? It was an hour and a half. There's no accounting for taste, and there is no accounting for manners. You can have all the money in the world and still be a crass, low life, just no mannered, just, you know, ratchet, and just. I don't, mm, these women, I just, I don't know. Some of them, some of them. Like, I mean, there's Sophie. I think she's the, she, she started last year. She's the one that, she's a, 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 like a life coach or whatever. And now her husband thinks that she should slow it down a little bit because he's one of those, I want my woman home, you know, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen, cooking me meals. and But she, she spoiled him rotten. Because they showed him he was, honey, I'm home. And she's got the dinner waiting for him at the table. 
All he did was put his bag down, sat at the t at the table. She's like, "Let me give you some salad." I'm like, "That's how you do that's how you got to do to keep a man? You got to be his slave?" What? I mean, okay, fine. Have dinner for him ready and everything. When I was living with my boyfriend way back when, I would get home before he did, yes, and I would have dinner ready. It wasn't on the table waiting for him. To, no, no. Because sometimes he just didn't feel like eating. So, boo-boo, you know, he would call me and say, you can go ahead and eat dinner. I'm going to be late. Okay. That's all well and good. But when he did come home at a decent time, I would wait for him. And then I would put food on the plate. It wasn't already sitting there. And all you have to do is just, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Maybe that's why I'm never going to get a man. Because right now I'm at the point in my life where it's just me, myself, and I. Okay? I eat what I want, when I want, how I want. I don't have to wait for anybody. I can eat at 8 o'clock. I can eat at 10 o'clock. I can eat at 5 o'clock. I can eat at 3 o'clock. I can eat any damn time I want. I don't have to wait for anybody. It's, it's the selfishness in me, I guess. Mom always did say I got that, that side of my personality from my dad. Of course, she wasn't going to say that she got, she was selfish. My mother really was not a selfish person at all. But my father, on the other hand, I love him. Sky, moon, stars, and sun. But yes, he can be a little selfish. Yes, he can. And I see it now. And, and of course, as, as parents get older, they want more. What they want is what they want when they want it. So, yeah. But I love my father to the, to the moon and the stars and back. So he can be as selfish as he wants to be. He may drive me crazy every once in a while. Hasn't done so in a while, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. But when he does, you know, can you look up a movie for me? I want I want to see how much it is, and I don't know if I can if I want to buy it or not. Just put it aside for me. So he's got a separate a list on Amazon that I made a list, Papa's List. That's what I call it. So whatever he's looking for and he doesn't want to buy right now, I just put it over there. Then when he's ready, because it'll be months, and then it, it, he'll remember, oh, yeah, remember that movie? Yeah, um, yeah, now I want to buy it. Okay, so that is that. And I guess that the selfish part I got from him, I don't know. In any event, this is the madness. Funky Friday. Another Funky Friday lip, honey. I can't. Mm. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Monday, I don't have to go to work. Oh, but wait up. Hold up. Tomorrow, you know, my baby, my Jeep, she's going to get a full service. She's going to get oil changed, and she's going to get her tires rotated. But guess what? In order for me to do this in a timely fashion, I literally have to wake up before the sun and park in front of the dealership so I could at least be the first or second Jeep to be taken in. Okay. I don't mind that. At first I was thinking, Nancy, you just absolutely gone cuckoo bat nuts. But no, no. Because remember, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. Uh, didn't I wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning to go see Batman vs. Superman for the 5.30 showing? Was it the 5.30 showing? Or was it the 6.30 showing? I forget. But all I know is I woke up. I got dressed. Pitch is night outside. The sun wasn't even... The sun was just rolling over for its second, second sleep before it was going to wake up. Pitch. I was going to the movies. And I went to the movies too. Yes, I did. So if I can do that to go to the movies, yes, you can do that to get your Jeep fixed. Okay, because this is a necessity. It's not a luxury. Okay, so the Jeep needs to get fixed and it's going to get fixed. Not fixed, but you know, maintained. It's got to, the tires have to be rotated. They have to be inflated. I don't, I don't want to hear any more pings. I don't want to hear any more pings. I don't want to hear any more pings, okay? 
So that has to be taken care of. And I don't know how long it's going to take. So, yeah, I'd rather go in early and then come back early and then relax max three days, people. Hell, I don't even have to do the laundry on Sunday if I don't want to do the laundry on Sunday. I could do it on Monday. Okay. Three-day weekend. Hello. So that's back-to-back -back three day weekends, okay? I ain't gonna stay jack. Okay, so that is that. With that, upon that, I think I've told you everything. There's really nothing to discuss here. It's Friday. We don't have, um, what would you do? Oh, I think it's Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is tonight. Okay, because last week was the first episode of Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen All-Stars, I think it is. If these people were All-Stars, I mean, some I do remember, some I don't. So, yeah, this should be quite interesting. Um, On that note, people, you will not see me until Tuesday, okay? So those of you who do have a three-day weekend, enjoy it to the fullest. Those of you who don't have a three-day weekend, enjoy your weekend nevertheless. I mean, you know, we can't poo-poo a weekend just because it's, it's not a three-day weekend. Hell, I work for my weekends, okay? Every week I work for that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, Saturday, Sunday, really. But enjoy your weekend regardless, okay? I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. If you want to let me know what this is all about. You can let me know what this is all about. And uh, I will talk to you on Tuesday. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.